Welcome to my 2024 Christmas gift guide for her. In this video, I'm going to be talking through items that I own and love that I think would make great gifts for her. Everything will be linked in my blog post down below, and I'll also link my 2023 Christmas gift guide for her, where I did kind of the same concept, things that I already own and love on my blog. Okay, before I jump into the exact items on my list, my first two suggestions are to ask them what they want. I know that that can take like a little bit of of the excitement and the surprise out of it but I think it's important to get people what they actually want and to not gift them things that they might not want or use so if you're uncertain I would say to ask them for some suggestions or ideas even if they're broad ideas just to give you something to work off of or if they're more specific ideas like I want this exact item you can always throw in something little extra as a surprise if you want something that you've thought of on your own I think finding out what they actually want is a great place to start my second suggestion that is isn't really an exact item is to gift an experience or a trip. I know my boyfriend loves this as well. My mom got us tickets to a hockey game last year. My boyfriend and I have both gifted weekend trips to each other before. So some kind of experience or trip can also be a great gift. That isn't a really tangible item in my gift guide. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first up, I know that this is very basic, but in a Walla cup or a Stanley, I literally would not drink water without it. Like I am someone that is not good at drinking water and my boyfriend got me one of these as a gift for my birthday and that is like the sole reason why I'm good at drinking water now. Number two is a nice pair of sunglasses. I've had this pair of Ray-Bans for a few years now. I feel like this is something that people want but they don't want to spend their own money on so I think that that would make it a good gift. You do have to keep in mind if they need prescription in their glasses or not. I wear contacts so I don't whereas my boyfriend doesn't wear contacts so he likes to get prescription in his sunglasses so that is something that I would need to consult him on. Idea number three is a birthstone necklace. The one that I am linking below is not the one that I'm currently wearing. Mine is years and years old. I think my grandparents got it for me whenever I was just a kid and I wasn't ever wearing it back in the day and then it was one of those things that I just like had tucked in my sock drawer for years and years and a few years ago I decided to pull it out and start wearing it layered like this and now I literally wear it every day. So I think that this is like a really great classic gift that they will cherish for years to come. Number four is a sentimental ornament. I am huge on ornaments and the Christmas decor. I started a tradition where I pick out ornaments for people and use them as their gift tags on their gifts that I give them and I think that that is so much fun. I love, you know, pulling out the Christmas decor each year and seeing memories in the ornaments. A few years ago for our first Christmas living together after we'd moved into our first apartment together, my boyfriend got me an ornament similar to this one that had like our first apartment on it. I had done something similar for him that year. I actually just went to Target and got one of the wooden door ornaments that they had in our apartment that we were living in. Each floor had different colors on their front doors and our door was orange so I just painted it orange so that it kind of symbolized our first apartment. So that's an idea that you could have for a sentimental ornament. I also am now doing a tradition every year where I gift my boyfriend ornaments based on the places that we traveled that year. So last year I got him like the Chicago ornament. My stepmom also gives us ornaments every Every Christmas Eve that's kind of her tradition and she's done things for me like the state that I currently live in my college that I went to you know whatever my key interest is that year something hobby related I just think that little ornaments that are thoughtful can be such a great gift All right number five are my earrings so I have very sensitive ears and I found that tiny Lux is a really great earring company that doesn't bother my ears I also have air Raleigh on here in a little bit and and they're amazing as well. They don't bother my ears at all, but I've included these little studs that I have from Tiny Lux and these hoops. I have two sizes of these hoops so that they can be layered together and I really love the look of that. And then this is an Air Raleigh little huggy hoop. But these kind of studs, like I have had this on for a year straight now. I got them for my birthday last year and I literally don't take them out and they still look great. Like it's a good medium range jewelry where it's not, you know, pure gold, but it's not super cheap where it's gonna bother your ears or tarnish quickly either. So that is a brand that I really love for earrings. All right, number six is an L.L. Bean boat tote. You can see mine right there in the background. I got the size large with the long handles. I got classic cream with, I think they call it script navy of my name, which was my personal preference. I love it with just my name. If you know a phrase that falls into the ironic boat and tote kind of category that you know that the person you're gifting would love, then I think that can be fun too, but I really like just 
the first name because I feel like it's really classic. I did also get the zip top and so mine that I have works as a personal item on a plane. So that's exactly why I chose that size and style. And it does, you know, rub your shoulder a little bit whenever you got it jam-packed. Any bag, once you've stuffed it, is going to feel heavy. But overall, I would say it's very comfortable. It hasn't gotten crazy dirty even though it's the cream. And I really love it. I'm also just a bag lover so I could see myself wanting a smaller size too for like everyday wear because this is definitely more of a like weekender or personal item on a plane kind of bag than an everyday bag but either size I think the L.L. Bean totes are very classic and they seem to last for years to come so I think it's a good gift to give. Alright number seven is also very basic airpods. I use my airpods every day. Number eight if you are looking to gift someone a larger gift my mom gifted me my golden goose a few years ago for Christmas and they are my favorite pair of shoes honestly. I wear them more than any other shoes. In fact she just gifted me a replacement of them for my birthday birthday this year and you're able to find them secondhand online. I found the pair that I got for my birthday on the real real for like $200 and they were in really good condition and that's like 50% or more off of what they would retail for so I would recommend looking for them secondhand and trying to find them in a good condition. That was something that I never would have bought myself either and like I didn't even pick them out the first time my mom gifted them to me. It was just a surprise and one of my favorite gifts ever definitely. All right number nine is a name necklace. I'm pretty much included all the jewelry that I could buy for you guys that I wear on the day-to-day -day basis. So the one that I have linked is not the exact one that I have, I don't think. My mom got mine off of Etsy, which I've linked one off of Etsy, but I don't take this off. Like this is on no matter what, with or without the other two necklaces. It's just one of my favorites. I don't know if my mom was inspired by Carrie from Sex and the City or not, but it kind of makes me think of that sometimes. Number 10 is Birkenstocks. I know this was a huge trend a few years ago, but I still love my Birkenstocks and slip them on all the time, just like running errands or when working from home or even to go out and like water the flowers. I have this big gold buckle style which I felt like was more my style than the classic ones so that's what I ended up going with. I know my boyfriend also mentioned recently that he would like closed toed Birkenstocks so that could also be an idea for him. Number 11, I also wear this pearl necklace from Leslie Francesca every day. This one I baby a little bit because the pearl can chip like the outer layer can chip off off. Don't wear this in the shower. Don't sleep in it. None of that. But this I am in love with. I picked this out for myself for Christmas two years ago and my mom got it for me and I've literally worn it every day since. All three of these I've worn consistently for the last two years. And I love that like this fresh pearl necklace like they're all unique because they're not perfect pearls. Number 12 is Vejas. So if you're wanting something of that golden goose style but at a lower price point I think Vejas can be a great option. I found mine on Poshmark for $35 dollars and they were in brand new condition and they were exactly what I wanted so again I recommend checking secondhand first but these retail for around 150 to 200 I believe and they're just a good alternative of a white sneaker that's pretty popular currently. Number 13 is a gift card to somewhere that you know that they love or spend a lot of their money at whether that be a makeup store, a coffee place, a restaurant, a retail store, just a gift card that you know that they'll get use out of. Number 14 is a nice knife. So my stepdad got this one for me last year or actually I think it was the year before and before that I was using that Amazon chopper which I know people love but it gave me a hard time. I was having a really hard time with that Amazon chopper and to me this knife like having a nice knife is just so much easier. You do have to take some more care of it you know try not to put it in the dishwasher. I always hand wash mine. You got to sharpen it every now and then but I truly think that a nice knife in the kitchen is more of a lifesaver than the Amazon chopper. Number 15 is is a coffee table book. This one, Warren Stories, is actually one of the only coffee table books that I've actually read that I own. So I really recommend this one. It's so cute. It's like little stories of people talking about their favorite pieces in their wardrobe, like a band tee and what band they got it from and what their life was like then and how it stayed with them through the years. It is really cute. Also on Amazon, you can find coffee table books secondhand for cheaper because I know that coffee table books can be expensive. That can be a great thing to thrift, but also on Amazon, I'll put in my little tutorial video that I filmed for TikTok or I'll link to it down below but you can just like scroll down and then click like view more options and it'll take you to where you can see secondhand items. I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll put the video in and I recommend doing that. I think I found like the second edition of this book for only a few dollars by doing that. Number 16 going along with books either a novel from their favorite author or a series that you know they would enjoy or if they don't have a Kindle. I got a Kindle this year 
year and it has honestly influenced me to read a lot more than I was ever reading before. I love that I can lay down in bed with it like on my side and not have to worry about which page is up and which page is down. I got mine off of Unclaimed Baggage for $32. They test everything, make sure it works, you know, factory reset it. So it felt basically like a brand new Kindle to me. I'll also link to my TikToks on that below. Basically the only thing that was wrong with it was like the stickers that Unclaimed Baggage put on it stay and I tried to get it off with like alcohol and whatever but I couldn't really get it off. But I put a skin on mine and a cover on mine and a pop socket on mine anyways so that was no bother to me at all and to get it for $32 was an amazing deal. I got a Kindle Paper White because those are easier to read outside also like if you're at the beach or the pool. I also think that's a great idea for like a grandparent. I got my grandmother a Amazon Fire tablet a few years ago and she uses it every single day. She's retired at home now so she uses it kind of as you know her way to look at the internet. She plays some games and I installed my Kindle app on her Amazon Fire tablet so that she can read books and use my Kindle Unlimited as well. Number 17 is a matching knit set. Both my mom and my boyfriend's mom got me one of these for Christmas last year and I love just like elevated loungewear that makes you feel more put together especially since I work from home some of the days. That was like a really great gift for me and I love wearing them also like when we're traveling to their homes or staying with them for a few days. It's a great just like casual outfit that still makes you feel put together. Number 18 is Air Raleigh Jewelry. This is one of my favorite jewelry brands not even including the fact that she also went to NC State and it's a small business women owned but these bracelets are from Air Raleigh. In my blog I'll link to all the things that I have. The thicker chain is the Vices chain and this is the Slink chain or Slinky chain I believe. I've had these on for like three years and they still look great like I literally do not take them off and her stuff is in a pretty affordable price range. I would say it's like $30 to $60 depending on the item but any of her stuff I highly recommend her brand. Number 19 is a Bagu Crescent bag. So this is something that I recently bought. I know this trend has been around for a while. I have this small size in the color Dove and I love it. I use it all the time for like running errands on the weekends, you know, going for walks, going hiking, anything more casual that is now my go-to bag. I'm not really a belt bag girly so I felt that this was a good compromise of like another casual easy crossbody that wasn't the Lululemon belt bag. Number 20 is Uggs. Uggs just scream Christmas to me and I know that the styles continue to change rather people want the mini Uggs, the ultra mini Uggs, the Tasman slippers. It continues to change but Uggs themselves I feel like are so classic and just scream Christmas. My mom got me the ultra, I think they're the ultra mini chestnut Uggs for Christmas last year and I love them. So that will complete this gift guide. As I mentioned, I will link all my gift guides down below so you guys can take a look at those or shop if you would like.